Let's dive deep into the memory tracking function. First, we import the unfinished module. This module is handy for running a callback function when the Node.js HTTP response has finished transmitting, or if it closes prematurely. Inside our track memory usage function, we capture the initial memory heap used before processing the request. Then, we use unfinished to add a listener to the response object. The callback function captures the final memory heap used. If any error occurs during the response, we log it. Otherwise, we calculate and log the memory used by subtracting the initial heap used from the final heap used. This information helps us understand how much memory a request consumed and is crucial for detecting potential memory leaks. In this segment, we apply the memory usage tracking function to an actual server-side rendered page. After importing track memory usage from our utility module, we call it at the start of our default request handler function. Notice that we pass the rec and res parameters, which are vital for tracking the lifecycle of our request. Then, we'll execute our server-side rendering logic. This is where you'd typically interact with databases or render React components on the server. Once that's done, we end the response with a message indicating the page has been rendered. It's during this entire process that our memory tracking function does its work, providing valuable insights post-response, which allows for performance monitoring and optimization.